Isn't this cool? It's like just in the grass. Perfectly magical. You're going up, up, up. Then you go down. It looks better from this direction. But more mysterious from the other direction. Hello, I am the vampire. I'm Sir Vickles. And this is the Oregon trip, day five. And there's a giant monolith! Look at that rock. Sir Vickles is getting her photography stuff. Which actually, I think most of the pictures we've taken have been mine. I keep grabbing her camera and running off. Taking pictures of the most meaningless things. So there are like all these birds just flying around and I think it's because they've all got their nests up there. Like you see those white spots? Those are just seagulls sitting there on a rock. On a giant rock. There she is. She's a really long way away. I made the mistake of leaving her alone. She got distracted. My feet are gonna be cold. Oh, it's cold. Well, you know, it's not that cold. I want to bury me. Hello. Hello. This reminds me of a wave pool, uh, but much more treacherous. Kennel got us a sand dollar and another sand dollar, and they're like perfectly whole. Look at there's all this kelp. Do you see the starfish? Starfish over there. They're all holding hands. I love this place. I'm glad I got you back to where you belong. Bye. We're seeing so many dead crabs. There's a claw. This is the crab graveyard. Okay. Searching for the ghost forest. This is Sir Vickles and this is the Nesco Inn Ghost Forest. Let me show you. The vampire is photographing some of the trees. They range greatly in, in height. From one like this to one like this big one. You must watch out for the tide, however. We're gonna get hit by that. We're going up the coast further. Come with me, my dear audience. But just look at this ocean. Look at it. There goes Sir Vickles. Running. I like the monoliths. I got a picture with it. It looks like a second head. 